going on guys? JS Cards here coming at you with a Yu-Gi-Oh! news related video and discussion video. You guys probably already saw it earlier this week, but it is about the new 2020 Megatins with the card list and the spoilers and everything that came out. Um, Italian Yu-Gi-Oh! posted a bunch on their Facebook page, which uh, will probably be the thumbnail of this, I'm not gonna lie, but that way you guys can see what kind of some of the rarities are and what they look like. But on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization site which I'm on right now they listed a lot of the cards and what we're gonna be seeing and there's some amazing cards in here some weird ones too I'm not gonna lie but overall this is gonna look awesome this is basically like a if you want to build Dragon Link after these tins come out, you're going to be able to because there's a lot of Dragon Link support in here. Lots of good cards in general, actually, but nice rarity bumps, things like that as well. Be prepared for short prints, though. I've already kind of heard people that are opening up their, their tins and their cases over in Europe are seeing um, a lot of short prints, which not very surprised, but maybe that'll get better the more you know when more are opened but we'll see so for our prismatic secret rares we have a large card pool here um we got da some dangers we have borrowed savage dragon of course i think that would look great as a prismatic secret same with cyber's quantum dragon then you have the guard dragons lp and pisty that would be kind of nice to have Neos Fusion 2 for the hero players, that's kind of sweet. World Legacy Guard Dragon, Pot of Extravagance, Time Thief Redoer, I think that is a great um, rarity bump for, for that card because it was, what, a common? And I think then, was it a super? I think it was a super in one of the OTS packs. I could be wrong. Uh, Trickstar Corobane, it's like, okay, really? Who's playing Trickstars right now? Uh, Destiny Hero Dominance, again, a great one. I'm a hero player, I got my hero deck, so I'll try to swap those out for um, some secret rare versions of Dominance. Um, we have Mystic Mine here too, Crackdown, those two I'm a big fan of being Prismatic Secrets. Um, Shaman of the Tenny, um, Romulus as well, Gizmic Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard, and what else do we have here? Unchained Abomination, IP Mascarena, Striker Dragon, yeah, these are all just like really good cards. Draco Masters of the Tenyi, uh, and then some Witchcrafter cards, and even Magicalized Fusion. Uh, that one, okay, that's cool, that's fine. Not my first choice though for a Prismatic Secret, but awesome cards here nonetheless. Moving on to our Ultras, um, which is Strike, No Material, Omni Dragon Brotor, uh, Mech Knight Crusadia Avramax, Cherubini, Gizmek Orochi, Win the Wind Charmer, Appaloosa as an Ultra. That's pretty awesome to see along with Star Liege Seifert. Basically like all of the Infinitrack stuff is in here too, so that's good because some of those cards were spiking up in price, so that'll kind of help calm things down. Strength and Unity, Destined Rivals, and of course Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. There's been horror stories that this is severely short printed, but I hope it's not. Um, like I said, as more product gets opened and it's officially out maybe, that'll discredit some of these short print rumors, but yeah, I mean, it is an ultra and super rares. Not all have really been listed here yet, but we have Phantasme and Synet Mining. Uh, same thing with Phantasme. It sounds like there might be a short print of that as well, but that card wasn't like, it's not like super expensive right now. Same with Synet Mining as well. I mean, they're not horrib horribly expensive, but these super printings should help kind of bring that price down. So both of these are great in like Cyber decks. I mean, I have a Salamangrate and a Marincess deck, and I, ra I run Synet Minings in both and Phantasmes in both. Um, they're just really good cards, I mean, and Phantasme you can even throw in the, in the Dragon Link deck if you want, so this really just has Dragon Link everything. I'm very excited to see what the other cards are, because um, there's more Ultras to be announced and things like that. Um, but yeah, I think this set looks great. So should you pick up the tins, 
You know, they're usually a really good deal. I mean, they're twenty dollars. The promos this year definitely aren't as good as last year's with Nibiru and and things like that. Um, but I still think they're worth picking up. These are one of the few products I actually say pick up and it, open up. You'll do well. You'll probably make your money back at least in the beginning or be very close to making your money back. And if you're a, a new player or if you're getting back into the game, there are very powerful cards in here that you have a good chance of getting. Not very often do I say buy products. I mean, a lot of people, including myself, say buy the singles you want because that way you're guaranteed these cards. But I mean, you could pull the God pack and you could get, or the God tin, and you could get like everything. You could get all the money cards in one. The odds of that are not very likely, but I think these are still good to crack open. And you know, who knows what all the commons and stuff are. Those don't really matter, but there are some hidden gems for the commons and stuff like that too in these tins. So I think they would be worth maybe buying one or two if you want to and just kind of having fun with it. You might get what you want. Um, you might make your money back so that way you could sell those cards or trade those cards to get what you want. Um, but also just buy the singles like a Borload Savage Dragon is probably going to be like 20 to 25 dollars maybe which is the price of a tin but would you rather buy a 20 dollar tin and not pull it if you're not really looking for anything else or would you just want to buy the single card and for sure get it um so you know it is kind of up to you i don't think these are bad if you do buy and open them um like I said, I just want to open up a few on this channel too, maybe one or two, but I'm mostly going to be buying the singles that I want. A couple upgrades, and I really want to get a Borload and an Appaloosa. So, and of course, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, that card's going to be insane, even if we get to use it for a month because it'll get banned, um, especially if it's short printed too. I recommend, recommend just buying the single that you want. Overall though, I think this tin is going to be really good. The The Mega Tins are always, I mean, they're always really good. Last year I thought they were fantastic, even the year before. These are just good and people get excited for these every year because they finally get the chance to get like, like I don't have an IP Mascarena and a lot of people don't have like Appaloosas. I don't have one of those either. So like it's just, it just gives people a good opportunity to get these cards that came out like last year that they haven't been able to get. The promos are usually good too. This year, not so much. I'm not really interested in them. I mean, they look cool, so sure, I'll just throw them in my trade binder, um, but that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think of these tins this year. I think they're good. If you want to buy one or two, go for it if you can. Otherwise, just pick up the singles. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. We are almost at 900 subscribers, which is insane to me. I really appreciate it. Once we reach 1,000, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and I'll be opening up a Discord to connect with you guys more. So if you are interested in those, let's push for 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Also, stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, deck profiles, and opening videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.